Um, so when I lived in France, I saw a documentary on French television by Chantal Ackerman about this Japanese Buto dance company called Sankai Juku. And I loved this film, and I loved this dance company, and I was just obsessed with them. And they came to Paris to perform, and I went to see them, and I was just blown away. And then when I moved back to L.A. to go to film school, someone said that they were going to do a workshop at UCLA, and it was free. And I was like, wow, Sankai Juku is doing a free workshop? So I signed up for it, and I went to it, and it was amazing. And there was this beautiful, beautiful woman. I, I have a thing for dancers, too. Um, and I was I had such a crush on her. And afterwards, I walked with her to her car. And I was just trying to talk to her. And she told me what her name was. And I think I had a girlfriend at the time. So there's it, it nothing I could really do about it. But uh, I just had a crush on her. And then I got married and got divorced, and I was single. And it had been a few years since I had seen her. Um, but I'm trying to think, who could, I, who could I go out with? And I remembered, I remembered her, but I couldn't remember her name. I was just like, what was her name? God, what was her name? It was something, something Berg. And then one day, I'm opening the paper, and it says there's a dance performance by Naomi Goldberg. And I thought, oh, that was her name, Naomi Goldberg. That was it. And I was so excited. And I bought a ticket. It was like uh, uh, really expensive. <laughs> and I think I got my friend to go with me. So I got two tickets. And I went to this dance and I was just so excited. I was going to talk to her afterwards if I could. And, um, and the dance was terrible. It was just terrible. I hated it so much. And the whole time I'm thinking, God, I don't, I don't like Naomi Goldberg anymore. I thought she was so cool, but she's not. She's terrible. She has no talent. And I'm disappointed. I don't try to, you know, meet her or anything. And I go home, and I'm about to throw out the, you know, the thing they give you, the, the program notes. And as I'm throwing it out, it's, I see on the thing, it says, costumes designed by Roxanne Steinberg. And I'm like, Roxanne Steinberg, that was her name. It wasn't Naomi Goldberg, it was Roxanne Steinberg. And I'm so happy, because Roxanne Steinberg is not a terrible choreographer. And... I finally know her name. So I start calling around all the people I know in the dance world. And I'm like, uh, I'm trying to get a hold of Roxanne Steinberg because I wanted to ask her out. And someone says, oh, there's this woman, Melinda Ring, who's friends with her. And here's her number. So I call Melinda and Melinda says, oh, she just had a baby recently uh, with Oguri. Oguri was this kind of famous Bhutto dancer. And I was like, oh, she's married? And she just had a baby? Oh, bummer. But Melinda sounds pretty on the phone. So I'm like, so what do you do, Melinda? And she's like, well, I, I teach these dance workshops. If you want to come, you're welcome to come. And I'm thinking, okay, I'll come. And I'm thinking Melinda Ring is my next girlfriend. And I go to the dance class and Melinda is cute, but she doesn't seem interested in me. And there's these exercises. I'm not really a dancer and I'm not doing it right. And this girl behind me is kind of getting annoyed with me because I'm doing it wrong and I'm fucking up the rhythm. And she sort of says these things to me that hurt my feelings. And I'm just like, that was humiliating and Melinda doesn't even like me and I, I, I shouldn't go back. So I call Melinda and I say, you know, I think I'm not going to keep doing the class anymore. I just wanted to let you know that I'm not going to come next week. And Melinda said, well, well, how come? And I said, well, there was this girl and she kind of hurt my feelings and I felt like I'm not really a dancer. And, and she said, well, you know, whenever I feel discouraged by something like that, I always just do it anyway, just to like overcome my, my fear and my discouragement. And I really think you should just, just do it. Just come again. I was like, ah, okay, fine, I'll do it. You're right. So I go again. And this time there's a new person there. Uh, her name is Mandy. And she's cute too. And I kind of like her. So I keep going. And one day we're talking and she says, have you ever seen Breaking the Waves? And I say, yeah, that's the greatest film of all time. And she said, I think so too. And then she kind of felt like, oh, maybe, maybe I like this guy too. And then we started going out and then we got married and had kids. And it was all because of my attraction to Roxanne Steinberg.